After a long time, I've gone to the movies without knowing anything about the movie. I did this a lot before the pandemic and I do this a lot when choosing movies to stream these days. My no trailer direct movie approach is meant for movie experiences like The Menu. I did not know anything about this movie before entering the theatre. Only a quick look at the genre suggested it was a dark or a haunted comedy. I did not even know what that means. So I didn't pay much attention to it. The movie was set around a fine dine setting. Having watched HBO's The Bear recently, I was fascinated by the amount of excitement that a kitchen setting can induce. The Menu is a story about an exotic island restaurant that only the privileged can experience. The chef is popular for his menus there and only foodies, wealthy people and critics end up getting reservations. The chef is our very own Voldemort and the key character is Anya Taylor-Joy, none other than our girl from the Queen's Gambit. Special mention to Nicholas Holt, The Beast for giving me all that weird laughs all through the movie. The movie is directed by Mark Mylord from The Succession and Shameless Fame. I have not watched both of them but I have heard high praises for The Succession which is definitely on my list after having watched the menu. First, I will talk about the setting. The detailing of the food, recipes and presentation is noteworthy. It definitely justifies the authentic and exclusive fine dine experience you might get on an island restaurant by a celebrity chef. You can tell that a lot of research went into and experts were consulted to get the meal courses and ingredient specifics to detail. It is an expert level food cinematography combined with social commentary and humor. Now I want to talk about the genre that is unknown to me for such an original piece. It was a comedy, yes, with all the punches landing perfectly and none of the jokes felt forced. Dark comedy and horror comedy, yes, maybe, because humor was satirical. I was laughing but was also scared in anticipation of the next events that may unfold. I would say it was a proper thriller at its core. The movie had its own natural flavor. It almost felt like a game show but not so much. Like an escape room but way too different. That one scene had us all gasping inside the theatre. An exquisite community experience in a long time. We were all equally shocked at that scene and from then on, everything was unpredictable and it kept escalating till the very end. Yes, it had some dull moments here and there, but overall the screenplay worked really well for me and most of the people around me. We were enjoying the movie enough to ignore the small falls here and there, which were insignificant. The haunting soundtrack also adds to the overall menace in the screenplay. This movie is a ride. You will never expect a kitchen or restaurant drama to turn out like this. A strange panic of anticipation and rooting for some miracles. Social commentary is deeply rooted in philosophy. The service industry, the givers and the takers, need for perfection and existentialism is all neatly woven into the dialogues and chef's explanation of the meals. Some are unspoken symbols that will leave you to have your own interpretations. The tension in the last scene was filmmaking at its peak. It was so compelling that the guys in my row including me clapped before leaving the seats. It was breathtaking and strangely phenomenal. It is currently streaming on Disney Plus Hotstar. Go check it out.